ang school year 2020-2021 ay piniling mag-drop out na lang sa hirap ng online schooling sa online learning kasi. May limitasyon daw talaga ang pagtuturo at ang pagintindi ng mga estudyante sa mga paksa. Halos isang taon nang nakamodule at online classes sa mga estudyante dahil sa pandemya. Yun, may na ang internet. Matapos na sana ang school year. This may seem basic, but technical difficulties and poor internet connectivity simply add to the frustration of online and distance learning sessions. Sometimes, your computer may shut down and poor gadgets might make it difficult to keep up. On a small barangay located in Matalam, North Cotabato, a resident faced one of these problems affecting her online class experience. Hello, I am Franzine Therese Ancheta and I am a resident of Matalam, North Cotabato. Aside from being a resident, she also struggles with sudden power interruptions in their area. More on two to three times a week, so it ranges from an hour minimum to like 15 hours maximum. Mahirap kasi in this modern era, we are really dependent in electricity, so especially me as a student na with online classes, parang nakakasagaba na din siya in my studies. And I think um, kasi sa bahay namin, we have our own water system, so kung walang kuryente, wala din kaming tubig. So, mas sobrang hirap talaga kung walang kuryente. Despite the dim situation, she knows that the people in their area are working to illuminate their homes. Actually, sinabi ko yun sa parents ko, what if magsabi kami sa barangay officials na bakit frequent na yung mga nangyayaring power interruptions in the barangay. Pero sabi ng mama ko, ang parang protocol or parang initiative na ng barangay officials to contact hotel ko when we experience power interruptions. Uh, ako nga pala si, you know, uh, barangay gagawa to Romilin Amores minsan bigla bigla na si nang ano na lumalabas sa ano sa area para maganap ng ano may may kuryente sa kasina hindi mo inexpect na mangyari katulad ng mga linya ng kuryente bigla maluga ng mga kahoy kaya mayroong mga interruption they notify their electric cooperative as barangay officials, but sometimes things happen unexpectedly. Based on their Facebook page, more on maintenance, repair, or sometimes there are super random na, um, reason why there is an interruption. Sometimes then because of, of weather, there are power interruptions. These disruptions can occur for a variety of reasons. It could be weather-related conditions and natural disasters. Dahil sa ano man ba, yung mga nangyari ganina, yung mga lindol, yung mga bagyo, yung lalo na ngayon na, ngayon na taon na to, marami yung dumadaan yung bagyo man ba. Kung may problema doon sa barangay, tatawag lang kami doon sa hotline, mga, mga after mga 30 minutes o isang oras, magpasok yung ano nila, yung mga tao nila. Meanwhile, an electrical engineer from Cotabato, Electric Cooperative Incorporated, Cotelco, shares his understanding with the students in online classes facing these power interruptions. This is Malfredo Ponco Lairon, uh, electrical engineer in profession. Current position ko sa Cotelco is Asset Management Division Chief, Naga Kidapawan City. Siguro, uh, dagan dito ng no, mga no, estudyante no, dito no, no, Isag kami, nareklamuhan din sa social media. Pero uh, inapanikamutan lang yun na mga restore, mga announce, at uh, please kabalo ang mga estudyante. During sa pandemic, uh, kailangan yun dahil ang, ano, ang power supply kung uh, kanil inani na uh, online. The engineer explains how vegetation, weather, and equipment failure are behind these interruptions. Sa mga sa mga distribution system sa hotel ko, ang pinaka-common yun na cause sa power interruption is line obstruction, and problema sa vegetation, sa clearing. Uh, Mawagin na siya ang pinaka-common. Mawagin na sundan na siya sa mga pill na ma-supplement ma, ma, ma pag yun siya 
sa weather no wag may mga ulan wag yung hangin so masamot ang problema sa kahoy nga may gugusog na hangin natanggal ang mga sanga mahulog sa linya so magpo-sa siya og power interruption ang ikatulo uh, kan mga equipment failure mga line hardware uh, dao ta mga equipment sing inataod sa sa linya tungod sa kadugayon na then kan mga animals no mga sa linya mga bitin mga langgam mga kuko so post ko na siya so post ko na og power interruption However, Kotelco and all other electric cooperatives resolved this obstacle immediately to brighten the faces of their consumers. Sa to mga process no, ginabuhat na mo dito uh, line clearing uh, sunod naman po iko na katong balaod the Republic Act number 11361 no, katong anti obstruction of power lines act. So mo to ginagamit pud namo para sa mga para maka-access mi sa mga linya, maka-clear mi sa mga linya. Sa mga uh, weather, sa mga bagyo, uh, kaya nga paligo na mo ang mga linya, nagagamit mi og katong mga concrete poles, sa mga bagong construction para uh, ligon siya na maka-sustain siya sa pusog na hangin, uh, ulan at is durable lang ato ang linya. So mo na yung mga Uh, action na ginagawat na sa para makontrol o ma-minimize ang interactions. But still, the student resident clings to a soft glow underneath her frustrations. If may problems na nangyayari, and as a consumer, then we try to be as understanding as much as possible. Kasi we'll just give them the benefit of the doubt kung baka kasi wala kaming alam kung anong nangyayari sa kanila. Kagawad Amores also hears brilliant projects by their electric cooperative, especially those in off-grid areas. Yung programa ng ano ba, yung power uh, supply sa kurente ma'am. Sa hotel ko, kung wala kang kurente, pwede ka magabi. Ang babayaran mo, may libre ka na, na ilaw, parang apat. Every month, magbayad ka. Pagtapos sa isang buwan ma'am, hindi ka magbayad. Wala nang supply yung, ano, yung solar mo. Ang ano talaga nila ma'am, ang, ang pinaka main na concern talaga nila ma'am, yung yung tao na hindi maabutan ng electricity ma'am. Yung yan ang pinaka main na concern nila. Yet, the electric cooperative also makes partnerships for clean energy projects. Na ano may mga negotiations po sa mga renewable energy po dili solar, mga mga mini hydro, biomass ana eh do old dire eh daghan man dire sa area na to meanwhile the implementation of their projects are being affected by the pandemic oh dako pa ito epekto no sa ato pag labi na to pag start sa pandemic eh ang mga supplies bisod ang pag avail na mo pag mga delivery transportation hampered so dako kay siya epekto sa mo labi na tong movement sa tao Aside from their power supplies being reduced, the electric cooperative is in the process of recovering from collecting payments from the consumers. Well, it's hard to recover. It's a bit of a recover period. So, if you have a lot of money, if you have a increase, if you have a growth in your operation, it's a lot of money, it's a lot of demand in the Korean market. So, it's hard to get back for two years. So, it's a lot of demand. So, it's a lot of money, it's a lot of money, it's a lot of money. The Philippine government has been emphasizing the need for a faster shift to cleaner sources of energy. Tagtipon ang daan-daang energy experts mula ibang bansa sa ADB Forum sa Mandaluyong. Iisang kanilang sinasabi, ang palaguin ang renewable energy sa bansa. Kailangan natin yung coal at yung liquefied natural gas para tumawid sa rehimen ng mas malinis na pinagkukunan ng enerhiya. We recognize the urgent need to ensure the sustainability, sustainability and availability of resources and the development of alternative ones. In this regard, I trust the Secret Secretary Kosi shall fast track also the development of renewable energy resources and reduce dependence on the traditional energy sources such as coal. Every electric utility here in the Philippines is required to use renewables. 
actually gina ano man gyud ta uh, kita tanan gina encourage kita nga uh, maggamit og renewable energy kay naa gani tay balaod ana uh, renewable energy act ng RA 9513 para uh, mabawasan nato tong carbon footprint nato para ma-reduce pud ang mga pollution og atong uh, global warming Then kami as electric utility, ina required to me of katong RPS renewable portfolio standard. Na dapat mo source mi og power sa renewable energy, mga 10% sa mo ang total demand, mo source na mo siya na renewable energy. Clean and renewable energy is one of the promising options that can enliven their gray worries. I think it would be really great, especially in places like us na who also in other places who all, who also experience the same problem as ours but then in other places in Mindanao na who don't have electricity they don't like they don't have the privilege of having their own um, electricity in their houses i would think it would be really helpful if mayro these kinds of project and with this kinds of project i think we can um Um, give a better quality of life for us Mindanaoans. Opo ma'am, dapat talaga ma'am para sa long term na planning ng government. Na hindi ka mo talaga sila ma'am na matulungan ng tao sa tungod na problema sa kanilang interruption sa kurente ni ma'am. Engineer Lyron foresees that clean energy transition in the country wouldn't be easy. Alisod na po na i-abrupt ang change mag-convert tayo into renewable energy pero kailangan nato siya eh kita naman nato ang epekto sa katong mga oil o coal fired na mga plants sa ato ang ecosystem hinahinayan din siya no mag-convert ta ang sperta into renewable energy pero uh, diha kita pa dulong eh dagan katong balaod na uh, renewable energy act uh, gina-encourage man dito ang individual Tugod siya sa individual, hantod sa mga power utility o power supplier na mag-convert into renewable energy. In the modern era, electricity is essential. And there are still plenty of people out there who don't have access to electricity. Making renewable energy a big help to residents and students, especially those in off-grid areas. But, power interruptions cannot always be helped due to natural circumstances. However, clean energy must be pushed because it positively affects the environment, economy, and people's daily lives. The big question still remains. When will the Philippines start investing in clean energy projects, especially in rural and off-grid areas? Most importantly, the learners who rely on electricity to attend their online classes. Mabago, dilim makurot, masaligan, renewable energy ang kinahangal.